Hi everyone, we're going to be doing the zombie makeup today on Alexis. So we're going to start with the lightest color of foundation that you guys have. We're just going to apply it all over her face. all over the eyelids, lips, under the nose. You can use a sponge or a brush, whatever, whatever is easier. And you want it to be full coverage too. Over the eyebrows. Bring it down on the neck, blend it, Next, you're going to take a white eyeshadow, a white matte eyeshadow, so no shimmer, and apply it all over the face and neck. You kind of want to make their face as white as possible. Lips. Especially right here, just give it a few extra dabs. So we used um, the CoverGirl um, eyeshadow, um, and it's just a single eyeshadow, um, and you can get that at Shoppers or Walmart. Um, it's pretty cheap, so it's really good to get one of those. And next I'm going to use a dark brown reddish tone to do her eyeshadows and her cheekbones. Um, you can also get these colors at Walmart or Shoppers, I'll link everything below so that you guys know where to get everything, but the color is like a deep brown red color. So basically you want to go all over the lid, not all the way up to the brow bone, staying underneath, and bring it around, so circle. You want to get good dense coverage. It doesn't matter if the dark falls underneath because we need it to make her look dead. I'm going to add a little bit of black too to deepen that color on the outer edges. And then anything that's fallen, you just dust that off. Kind of want to go around with a big brush so there's no lines. It's nicely blended. 
Then in the same color, you want to take a blush brush and do some cheekbones. And you want to make them good and noticeable in the same color. So now that we've applied a little bit, you just want to go over and a little bit darker. Because we got to see these cheekbones on stage. So it may seem dark right now, but to the judges and everybody else in the audience, it's going to look great. So then again, take your big brush and blend lightly. Don't press hard, just blend. We're gonna grab a black eyeliner. You can use pencil, liquid, whatever's easiest, and line the eyes. Nice and dark. I'm going to take that same red color, red brown, look at Steve, underneath and just blend that just slightly. Just takes that definite line away. And then grab your mascara, make sure it's waterproof. Look down. You can do a couple coats of this. Keep looking down to let that dry, okay? So while her eye lashes are drying we're going to do our lipstick so we're going to just take a red liner and we're just going to fill in here it doesn't have to be completely filled in with the red because we're going to do a few different colors. We're going to add a red lipstick, darkest you have is perfect. If you only have a bright red, that's fine too because we can tone it down with some eyeshadow. So next we're going to take the red brown eyeshadow and go over the lipstick to make it deeper. This is a palette that I have. Um, and then we're going to take the black and kind of outline it with your brush.
So now we're going to do her lower lashes. So I'm going to get you to look up. And when you're done, this may take a minute to dry, so just look forward. So this is the makeup for zombies. We're going to turn Alexis to the side, see the nice chiseled cheekbone. These are the same color, red and brown. Again, see there's no harsh lines with the eyeshadow around the eyes. Blending is your best friend here. So I'll link everything below um, and all the information will be there and have fun.